Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be a little live stream highlight for you, some gameplay from a live stream that I did recently. If you're interested in catching these streams when they happen live, link is in the description of this video as well as any other video I've done recently directly to my Twitch page. If you want to go over there, follow the page, get notified when it goes live, then you will not miss another live stream, hopefully. And also, if you're interested, there's a link in the description of my Discord server for the channel as well if you want to come over there and chat with me and other people on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and other fandoms and other random bullshit. But with that out of the way, enjoy the video. Ooh. I get to go first. I get to go first. Playing the game only makes Gamma feel stronger. Pepe hands. Yup. Alright. <laughs> oh! Look at this! Look at this! It's combo! Look at this! It's fucking combo! It's only combo, chat! My opponent has no extra deck. Uh, let's see. Uh, Maggie SF. KO! Alright, so, this to hand. I'm not playing this upstart until I get the red med out of my deck, chat. If, since my, if my hand has a play, I don't play the upstart. <laughs> um... So, and then this into, but then as soon as this red mid gets taken out of the deck, I play this upstart, 100%. And I also play it if I don't open Call by the Grave. So if I have a hand that's a play but no Call by the Grave, or a way to counteract my opponent hand trapping me in some way, I'll upstart them. But, um, but uh, otherwise, if uh, my hand is literally Exodia, meaning perfect four cards... And then it just did its thing. Weird. Alright, so we drew an impermanence. That's a card we could possibly think about keeping. Uh, so, then we'll special this. We got the black dragon, which means that we can make our Soryuja really good. By going grave, 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 a grave. Alright, so, special this. Uh, chain link one, sorry you. Chain link two, black drag. So we'll get the white man dragon to our hand. Why are you over here touching on my mans? All right. Uh, okay. So uh, we don't want this. <laughs> we we definitely don't want this. Um, and we don't want this either. Weird, right? And so, we'll make this into Pisty. We will special this, banishing the Darkness Metal. And then we'll Pisty F, revive the Darkness Metal from the Banish Zone. And then Red Med for this. And then we'll make Agrapan, and then we'll go into the Crystal Wing Saryuja. Pain for this mad lad. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Alright. So, Saryuja. Uh, chain link one, Saryu, chain link two, white drag. So, we're gonna add black dragon, um, which we are going to be more than likely putting back. Rescue cat. Well,. We did not draw Waterfront, but that is fine. Uh, so, uh, this is a duplicate, so we can get rid of that. We want to keep the Arborea. Uh, we don't need this. And uh, we don't need the Reclusia either. Yeah. So, to bottom of deck with this. Uh, but this is still fine, because this is still, there's three negates on field and then double impermanence and shit set. So, that's fine. I tell you what, it is fine. Um, uh, cat. So, like, you could play the tuner, but the tuner doesn't do anything, so, and Nat Beast doesn't do anything either, so, <laughs> like, might as well just do this. So. I'm going to make uh, the Saryuja and this. Uh, this is boosted by the other Saryuja. Uh, we're going to go into the Regulex. Then we're going to special summon this. Uh, 
Regulax is going to search for Crawler. To hand. And then we're going to go to Grave to Grave for Equimax. And then we're going to special this in defense position. And we're going to make Dawn Dragster with it. Boink. And now we have uh, a lot of cards to set, boys and girls. We have a lot of them. So set, 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 set. Pass. Uh, SP. To defense. Uh, and then F. So this gets the succession, which will automatically get back red men next turn if all goes according to plan. If it's actually Draco, listen, it'll be fine. It will be fine, my young duelists. It is Draco. Noise. Um. Hmm. I'm not gonna negate that. What the fuck you think? If I negate it, he could just card a demise of me, right? Uh, or hold on. Think. Uh, sure. Sure. You can start taking out my, uh, my impermanences and shit. Because that's going to be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah. Um, okay. So, now here's the thing. I should just go ahead and, uh, chain it on this. So if he uses the effect, I'll just chain crystal. So like he's in a he's in a really bad position here because he knows this is here. If he knows what this does. Okay, cool. And so now this column is negated as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Did he even use... He did use Disciples to summon. Yes, he did. Huh. So, the diagram can be... Uh... What are you doing? Uh, negate... I'm not letting that resolve. No way in fucking hell. You can have all these diagrams that you goddamn want. No. <laughs> no. Sure. Popping a heritage. So he's got only one type in grave that he's popped. So he's not going to be searching like a heritage and playing it. Or maybe he will. Who knows? Oh, he is! What? That's dumb. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. What's up with Draco players? How can they always have Demise in their opening hand? I know, right? How is that possible? It's always there. It's literally every time. I mean, whatever. Sure. Think. Disapples. I'm just gonna negate it with impermanence. I don't know why I'm asking. I'm just being kind of an asshole. You right. Imperm the new Ignis. <laughs> Get out of here, duelist. Now the disciples is negated. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee. Hmm. <laughs> Woo. Look at you. What a duelist. All right. 
Mmm. A Dulisto. Un Dulisto. By the way. So <laughs> I've got I drew Draco, but this is gonna this is gonna revive a fucking Saryuja. This is gonna get ooh. Oof, this is gonna get him. Do you have a response? Would you like to use one of your Ignis Heats? Alright, cool. I'm down for that. So, Red Med F to revive. Uh, uh, a Saryuja. <laughs> Look at how fucking beefy this target is for Red Men. Holy shit. So, we can just revive that. Nice. A big nice. Um, and then I can just normal summon the Equi... <laughs> oh my god, Draco F. I can just normal the Maximus and make that Equimax do big boy damage. Easy. Alright, well you're playing Draco. Are you gonna go first or second? I won Rock, Paper, Scissors, so I don't have any information there. Huh. Well, uh, I can confirm that these are gonna do nothing, and these also do next to nothing. Uh, so we'll just play the. We'll put these in. Um, and... I'll leave these in, but I'll also put in, like, red reboots. Just in case. Thoughts? I have a few. Alright. Wouldn't Draco go first? No, Soul Spice. Literally all the Draco variants that have been doing well have been going second Dracos with, like, maining three evenlies. That's all the ones that have been doing well. But he's going first, so cool. And I just lucked into my one Kaiju. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! I've got Cat and the two Leonises, which means we're not summoning Cat. Man. Okay. I'll Kaiju that, by the way. Please let me just draw a red reboot so I can end this Buster's existence on this mortal plane. Why is Crystal Wing an issue when you just tribute a trap and pop it? Exactly. Oh, the Crystal Wing was not a problem. The only thing that was making that Crystal Wing a problem was the fact that I had the impermanences that I was flipping to negate his Ignis, and he's like, wait, I have to do something about this. But he can't. Because, like, normally the impermanence would chain on the Ignis and he'd go, Chain Ignis, hee hee. But with Crystal Wing, I'm just like, ha, negate, destroy, get it off there. Um, so, like, that. That's the real benefit. Give me Red Reboot, please. Gods of Yu-Gi-Oh, give me Red Reboot. Or Twin Twister at this point. That is a Draco. Fuck. What is Magius? Spellcaster? Fuck! That means I can't reclusia it. Damn it! Alright, hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> I'd have to special Leonis. Um. Oh. That's fine. That keeps this from being a Draco trap. I play Floodgates! I am a duelist! Alright. So what are we doing here? We're gonna go normal summon. Then we're gonna put this in grave. For Magus. Then we're gonna special the Leonis. What is Regulix, by the way? Is it a beast? Please let it be a beast. Yes, it's a beast. Yes. All right. And what is Equimax? It is uh, a Cybers. That's fucking random, but okay. Okay. All right. Sure. 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 We'll do that. That'll be fine. Uh, what is this? This is a psychic. So we want this. That we do. And then we'll go grave, grave. Now the question is, do I pop this? It's probably a Draco trap, right? And if it's a Draco trap, then we just get fucked. However, what if it's not a Draco Trap? 
Thoughts? Um, okay, so I need to do some actual math. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I'll just do Spatha instead. That's easy. Easy. Um, so, I could Draco add back a Leo, but that wouldn't do anything. Um, I could special this. What is the math behind this? I'm going to have a 2,000 Equimax plus a 2,200 Gamma Seal, right? So we're going to have that plus the 16 from, uh, from Maximus. And then plus the... Uh, Plus the, what is this? What is Draco? 600. Plus 6 from Draco. So that's 64. Minus the 22. Times 2. That's game. Cool shit. So we'll special this. Neither of these are Cybersi boys. So boom, boom. I want you in my room. Where's Aquamax? There he is. Get out of my fucking ethosphere. You absolute try hard. Draco scum. Draco F. We're gonna add back this Reclusia. Maximus on uh, Equimax. Who the fuck sides there can only be one against a Crusadia deck? By the way, who does that? Raise your hands! Who's retarded? Alright. So, we're going to attack this. So it was 22 plus 2k plus 16 plus, uh, what was Draco again? 6. Um, 64 over 22 is 42,000 difference. And you take double damage. So that's 8,400. GG. <laughs> Smile! <sighs> Fucking Draco players. Absolute mad lads.